Scarface, you know, me, me and Scarface are tight, tight, tight. He so he uh, sung us that song. I can, I can tell you what, we were like in his car, and he was just letting us hear the demo tape of, of that song or whatever. The get, I mean, like I remember, like with with uh, my playing tricks on me. Night, I can't sleep. I toss and turn candlesticks in the dark. Visions of bodies being burned. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. People don't even know my name was Harvey Kelly. Well, now that they got, I got, you know, we got Facebook and all this kind of stuff like that. They know it, whatever. But it's been Harvey Love, Harvey Love, Harvey Love, and that popularity blew me up in school, and that's how I got it. Man, yeah. so so you so, get. When did you first? Uh, start, uh, you know, uh, producing the, 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 the tracks. Music, the tracks. This, this is what happened. That's a uh, big mellow. Yeah, you know, I heard okay, of big okay, mellow. Okay, that's what put me in the game professionally. So because he and I would, you know, he was the rapper, I was the DJ at all the Madison Talent shows. We got together and got, you know, went professional, signed with rap a lot after we after we graduated. How old were you? So uh, after you graduated, eighteen, time, nineteen. Yeah, I was nineteen. I was okay. yeah, I was eight. I graduated seventeen, turned eighteen next month. I was 19 years old. Okay. Signed yeah, the rap a when, lot. when I signed the rap a lot. Mm -hmm. I was on there when you like me, Scarface, you know, Willie D, all of us. You know what I'm saying? You know, Mr. Lee. Boys, Big Mike. Wasn't Mr. Lee there with y'all? He wasn't there yet. I don't think uh, Lee not was yet. there yet. No, Lee wasn't there yet. Really? Uh-uh. So that was early on. It was early. I don't I don't believe Lee was there. You yet. was early with mm -hmm. it. It was like, yeah, yes indeed. Yeah, yeah. We so you was there when uh but I never Mr. seen Mike? a man cry until I seen a man Absolutely. die. He greets his father with his hands. Rehabilitated like glad to be the man's child. Scarface, you know, me, me and Scarface are tight, tight, tight. He so he uh, sung us that song. I I can tell you what we were like in his car, and he was just letting us hear the demo tape of, of that song or whatever. The get, I mean, like I remember, like with with uh, my playing tricks on me. Night, I can't sleep. I toss and turn candlesticks in the dark. Visions of bodies being burned. That was a song that was gonna be uh, like some solo stuff that he was doing, but it fit the Ghetto Boys better. Yeah, as a group. How did they, who, they, who they came up with that? With that little, with that little Jack? face, meaning said that it fit the whole ghetto. No, no, group. no. I, I don't know how they. I guess they got together and that. But you see what I'm saying? Face, okay, we were at a club called Boomerang. Scarface let me hear that him rapping that song by himself. Now Will, you know Willie D and, and that's and why Bush he had two verses involved, on but there. We just heard absolutely. So Willie D and Bush was, was probably involved. They probably wrote, all wrote the song together, or whatever. But when Face let us hear it, it was just him by himself. It's more impossible to cope. I feel like I'm the one that's doing dope. And so I'm like, man, that's amazing. That song was amazing. You knew it was good. It, it, oh, man. I already knew uh, about the, you know, because for me from DJing, yeah, I already knew that music. was a war. Yeah, I already knew about the war uh, sample that he used and everything. I already knew what, you know, it was just like, wow, wow. And the Isaac Hayes, the Isaac Hayes and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, that's what it was, the, the uh, Isaac Hayes. So, it was like, man, it was so, it was amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, I'm like, wow, man, that music right there. He, he took that music and so made this. How did you, how did you, when you heard the, uh, the the final version, how did you feel? It was crazy. It was you crazy. You were like, what the way, hell? It was, way, it was way above what I could have anticipated. Yeah, because when you think about. It was crazy. The way B Willie or, D is I don't monster. know. People don't want, Willie D wrote that verse for, for Bushwick. Yeah, yeah. But he was a monster. Him. God, it fit him. This year, Halloween fell on a weekend. Me and Ghetto Boys a trick or treat. Willie D is a monster in that studio. Man, that nigga said, uh, that nigga said, uh, Fifth Ward is, is a spot where niggas get shot. I remember. Wholesale cocking every block. The niggas start shit, but they don't start it with Bill. Fifth Ward is a spot where niggas get shot. Wholesale cocking every block. Like, like. This man wrote this, and Bill, man. what, Bill wasn't from here, was he? Bill was from Bushwick, Brooklyn. He was from New York. He was from New York. Bushwick, Brooklyn, yeah. But he came here, and he, we, Willie D started pushing him into this culture with the way he was writing, right? Man, well, Bill was actually there, you know, with Johnny C and Reddy Red. You know, Bill was there in Jukebox. Okay. Bill was there before everything. So he was yeah. there all the time. He was there all the time, yeah. He like, so he there. was from the South, really. Yeah, he, we, I, Might I guess, as well, he was here. Yeah, man. But Bill was nice. Bill was nice too. I mean, like he was—he's just a such a such a performer. R.I.P. to Bill. His on. performance, man, was amazing. I mean, if you know, you if you don't wouldn't if you didn't see or witness the, these shows that the Ghetto Boys were, were doing as a oh my you wouldn't even miss a treat. Oh my goodness, we were we on the label with them. We we own the show. We opening up. We doing this. You know, me and Big Mello, whatever. Mello, 
had an amazing role. He, he would be with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay, okay. He would be with us, you know, because it was Big Mellow and uh, Bone Art Productions. Bone Art Productions, Peach and Big Mellow, whatever. That was our group. He would finish our show, go back in the dressing room, change, and come back out. You know what I'm saying? Either with the Ghetto Boys or with Scarface. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't pretty much be the Ghetto Boys, but he'd be like Scarface's hype man and Scarface doing a like a show by, you know, a solo. Because he was so, so, Scarface was a solo artist as well. Yeah, yeah, you know he was. So, so Melo was Scarface's hype man. Mm. So he was really working. They, now, I mean, that, Melo got to be probably the mo one of the most talented uh, artists I've ever worked with in my life. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.